So I'm really enjoying doing this with you. So uh, appreciate it. Listen, before we jump into March 1989, I do want to take a minute to remind everyone that three weeks from now, the countdown is on. It's StarCast 5. It's invading the fairgrounds at Nashville. And a few weeks ago, they made the big announcement that the Ric Flair match has taken on a life of its own. David Crockett and Ric Flair came out on social media and said, guys, uh, we had such an outpouring and demand of ticket sales for this event that now they are moving the match from the fairgrounds to the Nashville Memorial, uh, I guess it's the auditorium. Auditorium. Uh, yeah, so that's where uh, Rick and uh, uh, Ricky Steamboat had their Russell War match, and that's where Ric Flair's last match is going to be at. So I don't know if you heard that or not, Arm, but that's big time, man. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, I would venture to say just about anybody that wants a ticket uh, a building that size is going to accommodate quite a few people that were going to come and just didn't get in quick enough. But I wouldn't wait too long. I wouldn't hesitate too long because that building's going to sell out too, I can assure you. That's right. And listen, this is your opportunity to see the horsemen reunite, to get those pictures, those meet and greets, to meet the man himself Armed Anderson, as his T-shirt says today as we record this. Arn, along with several of our friends, uh, including the leading lady in the Arn Anderson fan base, Miss Amy Vaughn, we are excited for StarCast, and we have to get that personal moment, that conversation and picture. I honestly can't wait to catch up with so many of our friends and colleagues in person, because let's be honest, thanks to the pandemic, it's been a while since Conrad has been able to do this with all the variables and we're so excited to be bringing this installment of StarCast to Nashville. Well, the one thing I can guarantee you if you're, for the fans, Conrad's going to over-deliver. And we're going to all do our part, you know, to make sure everybody has experience of a lifetime. You know, if you, if when back in the day when he was, you know, uh, aging a little bit and getting in his later years, Richard Pryor was still a funny son of a bitch. And uh, if you, you know, I was a huge fan of, of his humor. If somebody would have said, okay, guys, you know, it's winding down. You got one last crack at seeing Richard. I got a feeling I would have done anything I could do to get there because this truly is, has all the trappings, has all the story. It is the last match. You know, it, it, it writes itself. 